Ken Grizzly. Let's take a look at named anchors and a little trick for getting them to position just how we want. So a named anchor is when you want someone to be able to click on a link and it will scroll them to a point on a page. So let's just pretend on our burger site, we want someone to be able to click on learn more and it's gonna scroll them down to uh, the seasonal menu panel. Um, so there's a few ways to do this in Elementor, and like I mentioned, I'll, I'll show you kind of a cool way to get the positioning just how you want it. So first way is you can click on a section and put an ID on it. So I'm just going to type seasonal. It could be whatever, right? No hashtag or anything, just the word. Then I'm going to go up to my button, click on that, and I need then I need the hashtag to reference the ID, and I'll type seasonal. And if we preview this thing, you get a nice animation by default, by Word, excuse me, Elementor. It goes right down to where we wanted. That works quite well. Um, if you were trying to link a main menu item or link to content on a different page, like say you wanted to link to this but from a different page, you'd need the page name first. So, you know, like slash page name. Oops. Like that. Um, that should work. If that doesn't for some reason, you could try adding a slash right here. I don't think you need that though. Um, and you could also, if you really want to, put in the you know the, the full URL, like you know, my, mysite.com or something, but you shouldn't need that. Um, so anyway, that's how you would link to a different page. Now there's that's that's one way is putting an ID on something and linking to it. Another way that's an option in Elementor is this widget. And this might help you keep track of where you actually have anchor. So I search for anchor. We've got a menu anchor. I can drag this on the page wherever I want. Uh, so one option, I'll just put it right, right in the box. I'm going to give it the same name, seasonal. Now, it may not work without refreshing. Yeah. With the widget, you actually have to update the page. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll preview it because I want to see where it scrolls to. Uh, one option would be to put that widget like in the panel above um, to try to get the positioning we want. But let's just see what happens. So we click learn more, scrolls down. Oh, that's no good. Look, it's like in the middle of the panel. So I'm going to go down here. So one option would be to put this widget somewhere else, like up, up here. That could work. Um, but even then, if I update it, the positioning may or may not come out kind of how I expect. So I'm going to go back up here, try it again. And that actually is pretty close. But let's say for some reason you want more breathing room. Um, you want it to be kind of like that. Here's a, here's a trick I learned. Is, uh, let's just put it back in here so we can remember that this named anchor goes with this content. I would probably, in this case, link to the section, but you'll find a use case where you need to do this. Uh, but if you go to advance on the anchor, uh, there's different things you can try, like negative margin. Um, but I've found that if I set absolute positioning on that named anchor, then I have the ability to set an, a negative on the vertical position. So let's just move it up where I think is a good spot. And what's neat is you can adjust this by device size, tablet, mobile, you know, just click on that and, and adjust. Um, so for desktop, I'm gonna try this. Click back over, the page is refreshing. So now let's try learn more. And look at that, the more like we wanted. So that, that's a handy trick. I, you know, I've done these named anchors for years and I don't know why in the page builder, I guess I haven't really tried this sort of absolute positioning trick. Pretty nifty. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll be rolling out more and more content, and I even got myself a better microphone. Um, also, if you don't have Elementor Pro, definitely pick it up. One, one, life, one purchase is good for something like a thousand installs, so, so the cost you know, is negligible for such a powerful tool. All right. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for checking this out.